Hello everybody, this is Ania Feiner and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 15th and the 22nd of August 2020. This is where I talk about celestial transit that affect all of us, all zodiac signs, the celestial soup we're all swimming in. So here I am, brave and unmaked up again, my whole face burned again by laser. You could see it, you could see it, this is all burns, but we shall cover it up with hair <laughs> and do this video nevertheless. So, how have you been? I'm, hello Georgia, I'm actually anxious to tell you about next week because we're having a new moon that promises a wonderful month ahead and God, we need it. We need some time off. We need some time for filling up our batteries, and that's exactly what we're going to get. Um, we're having Mercury in Kazemi in superior conjunction, which is like a full Mercury. Mercury, like like a full moon, you know. It's the um, when Mercury is furthest away from Earth and uh, uh, is in the heart of the Sun and we'll talk about that and many other things happening this week making it a packed week with celestial transits and energies coming our way um, Saturday the 15th we're beginning the Uranus retrograde and this is a time that we can expect the unexpected we can ex expect to be surprised when advancements and breakthroughs come from the people we've least suspected or from the sides that we've least suspected or in the ways we've least suspected that they would come nevertheless a very interesting time for the next month ahead couple of months ahead I think it uh, moves out of retrograde only at the end of the year yeah so I just checked it just to make sure it is exactly until the 10th of January when Uranus is going to end its retrograde and during this time as I said expect the unexpected breakthroughs from places we've least expected them from and that's not a bad thing you know we are having this new peace deal here in Israel by Benjamin Netanyahu and the Arab Emirates and Donald Trump which is something that is great you know having peace with an Arab country in the middle of all this crisis is a wonderful thing, a blessed thing that no one could thought would be possible and it is historic in many many ways um, there are many quincunxes during this week coming from inf important planets to important planets that say a lot about us doing our part in leaving the past behind understanding that there's been patterns in our behaviors about the things we do and how we do them that need to be left in the past they might have been positive for us in the past maybe even essential but now they're dead skin and they need to peel off and they're dead weight and they're constricting our growth and hindering it and I want to mention Rick Levine great Marilyn Rick Levine one of my favorite astrologers that always talks about quintiles, bequintiles, and septiles and their importances as aspects of great uh, um, magical essence bringing uh, amazing creativity and a lot of talent and um, the fruits of the eternal into the transient so uh, uh, many quincunxes which are 150 degrees are going to develop over the next couple of weeks into a lot of big quintiles 144 degrees so a lot of magic and sweet eternal fruits of a great uniqueness and, and exquisite taste for the soul can be brought through after this purification this alignment understanding what it is we need to leave behind and the image in your head should be about the great warrior sitting on the stone with its beautiful sword and, and, and 
sharpening its edge, taking off the unneeded metal from that edge so it would cut more sharply. Indeed, it is sharpening our edge, so we should cut, as the Japanese say, through life like a sword in water. I don't know how many of you know that, but I've, I'm actually a, a, a ordained, uh, not ordained, but certified martial arts teacher in my past. Budo Ninjitsu. So, um, Sunday the 16th, be aware of exaggerations. It's packed full with energies. The sun is trining Mars, and that gives a lot of energy to this week as a whole. This is a time to struggle. This is a time to set those uh, aims and follow them. We have the energy to do it. We have the energy for transformation. But this is also a sensitive day as Venus is squaring Chiron, especially with relationships, especially with money. Be more sensitive on this day and in the day next to it as well. Uh, Monday the 17th. Uh, after that, and on Monday the 17th, it's more about our communication and commerce with the world. We need to be aware that on that day there's a very thin line between aggression and uh, assertivity, which is a good thing. We need to be straightforward about what we speak and how we act, but we need to do it in a way that can actually be tolerated and swallowed uh, um, by our surroundings. <coughs> this is an important day for reckoning. It's an important day for visualizing. It's a ceremonious day as Mercury is at the superior conjunction with the Sun. It's a time to really understand what worked for us in the last month and a half and what didn't, and whatever didn't needs to be live, left behind and we should concentrate on what did. This is a time of exacting and realignment and also visualizing how we want ourselves to be at the end of this cycle in a month and a half from now or in the next uh, Mercury, full Mercury, like a full moon, three months from now. Venus is sextiling Uranus uh, the day after that, on Tuesday the 18th. It's a great time to think outside the box regarding our relationships, regarding work and satisfaction and monetary funds and, and, and really meet new options or think of new options and be unique and creative about uh, ways that we could enrich our lives um, with the new. So it's a great time to meet new people or to start new things that can actually prove valuable for you. Um, the day after that is the new moon. So remember, day before, day after, you're an emotional sponge. The energies that you are processing are going to be there for you in the next lunar cycle of 29.5 days. So watch your sponge, as we say, <laughs> as I say. Um, it is conjunct Mercury, trining Mars, wonderful energies in Leo enjoy it please enjoy it we need some recharging we need to remember what life is all about and here comes a good month to remind us of that and actually help our mind to go forward help our thinking and our intercommunication and and uh, interaction to actually step into a new place for for humanity for this world and i mean that in the deepest sense of healing and amendment mercury steps into virgo uh, in which it feels just amazing a day after that what a day after that? a couple of hours a couple of hours after that and virgo more more than everything for me talks about healing and amendment it talks about amendment in the you know a jewish term of the word of amending yourself and amending the world through you being in it in the healing sense of the world word and here mercury our communication and commerce with our surroundings steps into that wonderful sign and we are here to correct and amend our words and our communications with one another and with nature and actually heal things for the next couple of weeks wonderful thursday to do things a lot of energies so does friday packed full of energies and um, actually on saturday we should we could put the brakes by afternoon and actually relax a little um, because 
Saturday we, 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 we could spill over already. We could be over the top. So just watch it on Saturday. The sun is stepping in to Virgo that later that Saturday. So happy birthday all you Virgos. You are part of my biggest loves in the past and maybe in the future too. I love that um, access you have between OCD and that, um, being anal about things, you know, and having OCD <laughs> and, and just wanting to let yourself go and, and um, let go and give up controlling things and be held by the great spirit or whatever it is that Virgo Pisces access that you all have in your charts so happy birthday and may you have a very fruitful healthy beautiful year of amendment of healing not only to you but to all of us um, I want to remind you that this Sunday prices are going up so if you want to schedule a session with me or if you want to uh, enroll as a student this is the time to contact me I want to thank you for spreading these videos and commenting on them as they make more people see them and I hope we all live long and prosper.